Okay, hello. So this is how I created this um, hook and eye in Clo. Uh, here are the pattern pieces here. I will give you this ZPRJ file so you can have a look at everything I did. I won't go through it right now, but this is what the pattern looks like. So then I select it. I select everything and then I go file export uh, as OBJ. Uh, and then you put it wherever you want it to go. I'm going to just replace, oh, I'll call it hook and eye. Sample. And then we'll select save. And then you're going to uh, select all patterns and then you're not gonna have select all avatars. You're going to have select all graphics and trims. It's going to be a single object. It will be thick. Um, you can leave the scale because we're gonna adjust that as we bring it into our next project. And then you wanna make sure this is clicked right here. Save with texture file and then select diffuse color, combine on texture, save with transparency map extracted from diffuse map, and you can save it with metadata and select okay. And then I'm just gonna open up another file with a bra that I was already working on. This pattern is the Black Beauty bra pattern, by the way, in case uh, you have never seen it before. It's a really, really good bra pattern. Really pretty, right? Okay, anyways, so let's talk about the hook and eye at the back. So I do have like this actual pattern piece that's applied there and sewn to hold this bra together. So this is the fabric that's applied to just this one pattern piece. And then I'm gonna select that fabric and then I'm gonna come down here into the property editor and then let's find opacity. So here's opacity right here. So if I turn it up in the 3D window, you can see that it's now visible. And the reason why you can't see this image is because it was a graphic image that I tried to apply. So if I look up here under my graphics tab and then select hook and eye, you can see this is an image that I placed on top of this pattern piece. And um, I made it opaque as I was working on this file, as I was testing things out, but I'll show you what it looks like anyways. Um, so that's what it looked like before when I was working with it. It's kind of hard to see the lighting's not that great. Um, but I'm going to turn it back down and then I'm going to show you how to use this OBJ and we're going to turn down the fabric as well. Okay. So now we're going to open up the uh, trim that we created before. We're going to open it as OBJ. So go to file import or sorry import add obj and then you're going to go to your hook and eye sample that we just created from our zprj file we're going to add it and we're going to add it as a trim and the rest of this is good select okay and then it comes in as this gigantic <laughs> This gigantic hook and eye, which is not what we want. Um, and you'll notice the texture is gone from our hooks and eyes. So we're going to select those. Everything gets selected. And we're going to come over into the property editor. And under material, we're going to select under the drop down metal. So now they're back to metal. And then now we're go going to rescale this. So we're going to use a little scale box right here. Select that. And then we're going to make this smaller. There we go. Something like that. And then I'm going to select the glue bottle and put it where I want it. And then I'm going to keep scaling it. Oops. Something like that. And then I'm going to go back to the little X box here. Right there. And then we're going to scale it some more. We're just going to keep refining it now until it's where we want it to be. And because it's glued on now, when I do that, let's see. Let's do a simulation and see if it's stable. 
yeah, not bad. So you can keep refining, like I could probably spend a little bit more time making it more perfect, but this is just to show you how it works. So we can change the color of the, uh, the white part by selecting the white part and then coming over to your property editor and scrolling down until you find color. You want your little color swatch right here. Okay, and then we're gonna click on that, select black, apply and done. And then so now you can see it's black. You can do the same thing with your rings, your your hooks and eyes as well. Um, you can change them to black or like a dark gray. So you do the same thing with the stitching, select the stitching. It's kind of hard to select it. You gotta make sure you have just the stitching. There we go, and then select black or let's select a dark gray so that we can see it apply done there we go cool right yeah I think that looks pretty good um, we can check out what it looks like rendered I think it looks pretty good So yeah, go, go ahead and download it. Let me know if you played around with it, if it's working for you, if you have any questions. Um, yeah, I'd be happy to talk about it, answer any questions that you might have. And uh, that's it. So if you thought that was cool and you got some use out of it, make sure that you let me know in the comments below. And also, if you're interested in knowing more about Clo 3D and Intimate Apparel Design, I will be launching an online course very soon. So you can go ahead and uh, click the link below to get your name on the email address. And also getting these free assets, the ZPRJ file and the OBJ file for this hook and eye. Um, yeah, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.